Think about all the things that people have gotten away with. Brace yourselves as we dive headfirst into a riveting conversation between Joe Rogan and music legend Roger Waters, where shocking revelations and thought-provoking questions shed light on the dark secrets of Epstein Island. Prepare to be captivated and shocked by the astonishing details that have emerged as the conspiracy unravels before our eyes. I mean, look at this fucking Ghislaine Maxwell thing. Yeah. Ghislaine Maxwell, this, I've said this before, I'll say it again, she's the only person ever to be tried and arrested and put in jail for sex trafficking to no one. There's no list. Where's the list of the people that she sex trafficked to? Well, the problem is we know that they're heads of state, billionaires, wealthy people, famous people. King's where, brother. Where, yeah, King's brother. Where's this list? Where's the list of people? The, the list is non exist. So you're trying her and convicting her for a crime where if you're, if you're sex trafficking, that means you're trafficking to someone. And th if that someone is an American citizen or a British citizen, that, that is an illegal act. So who are these people that have committed this illegal act? Because they're responsible as well. Right. So who are these people? And how is there no well, discussion of this? In a jaw-dropping interview on his popular podcast, Joe Rogan shocked music legend Roger Waters with explosive insights into the infamous Epstein Island scandal. The conversation delved into the dark underbelly of elite sex trafficking, the suspicious death of Jeffrey Epstein, and the alarming lack of accountability for high-profile individuals involved. The discussion took an eerie turn when Rogan brought up the bizarre circumstances surrounding Epstein's mysterious death. The renowned podcast host expressed incredulity over the conveniently malfunctioning surveillance cameras and the unusual ligature marks found on Epstein's lifeless body. Both Rogan and Waters expressed deep skepticism about the official narrative, suggesting that the truth had been deliberately concealed. Well, there's no discussion because Jeffrey Watts' face hung himself in his prison cell. Yeah. Yeah. Which is <laughs> insanely bizarre, right? That one. That's insane. Oh, the cameras just happen to not work. How convenient. Yeah. There's ligature marks around his neck and a fractured neck bone. No worries. Yeah. That's what happens when you hang yourself. We were having a cup of coffee. Yeah. Waters, admittedly well-versed in the Epstein saga, questioned the absence of a comprehensive list of individuals involved in the scandal. The Pink Floyd icon emphasized the gravity of the situation highlighting the shocking possibility that even influential figures may have bribed their way out of exposure. The mention of Prince Andrew allegedly paying off someone with a staggering sum of 12 million pounds sparked further intrigue. There, there has to be a large group of people that were involved in this, and there's none that are being exposed, yeah. which is quite fascinating. Because I guess if you did get exposed, if someone said, hey, you know, blah, 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 head of this bank, we have evidence that you were having sex with underage girls. That person could say, okay, what about Bill Clinton? What about this guy? What about that guy? He was there too. And then the house of cards comes down. As the conversation unfolded, Rogan and Waters examined the suspicious financial transactions surrounding Epstein's empire. They marveled at how Epstein managed to amass enough wealth to own a private island, which is now up for sale for an exorbitant $100 million. The revelation that CEOs and high-profile figures, including the former CEO of Victoria's Secret, gifted Epstein multi-million dollar properties only deepened the intrigue. Rogan couldn't help but wonder if these inexplicable acts were part of a clandestine intelligence operation. Yikes. It's a wild story. Yeah. But just the fact that there's a place like that, there's an island that he owned. Like, where's this guy getting this fucking money? I don't know. <laughs> to run, to own an island, and the island is for sale now for I think it's a hundred million dollars or something like that. Like, wh where'd you get that money? You know, and then the the CEO of uh, Victoria's Secrets gives him a sixty million dollar mansion in Manhattan. Like what? And then you find out that these other CEOs have given him a hundred million, a hundred fifty million, fifty million. Like what? What's what is this? Some bizarre in. In intelligence operation? Like, what is this? Like, what are they doing here? Admitting his affinity for conspiracy theories, Rogan his stance, emphasizing that numerous verified conspiracies have come to light in the past. 
From the Enron scandal to the Iraq War, he argued that it would be naive to dismiss the possibility of powerful individuals engaging in covert activities for their personal gain. Rogan and Waters concluded that following the money and uncovering the truth were essential in exposing these hidden agendas.